Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama, and today is Five Ways Wednesday. Today I'm gonna go over five ways to pack and organize a super bee. I'm gonna show you two ways to pack it as a diaper bag, and then I'll show you how to pack it as a car bag, an overnight at the grandparents house bag, and a carry-on diaper bag for air travel. Okay, so let's get started. So this super bee is packed as a diaper bag. This is by far my favorite way to use a super bee as a diaper bag because it creates so much structure. The way that I have this bag packed is with an insert. This is actually a Lily Jade insert, but you can use any insert. Um, Amazon has just dozens of them for really cheap and they do a great job organizing a super bee so that everything isn't just piled in there and a big mess. So I like to pack it with an insert and a fuel cell, and it creates a really nice structure. It makes the bag still be able to collapse pretty well if you want to hobo it. And it just looks really neat and pristine and organized. So let me show you what I have in here. The first thing I have off to the side is a fuel cell, and I have feeding needs in here. So. I have got two pouches of food, I have some pacifier wipes for cleaning his spoon and things like that, I have a bottle, his little bowl to put his food in, and up top I have some neat cheeks. So I can always grab this really easily right out of the side. Um, if we run into a restaurant, I don't even have to bring the whole Super B in with me, I can just yank this out and go. So I love this. Before I get into the insert, I'll show you what I have. Um, and the two mesh pockets on the side. I like to use one mesh pocket to keep my swell bottle, and I usually use another one to keep a rolled up blanket for my son just in case he ends up needing it. And everything else that I carry in my diaper bag is inside of pouches within this insert. So I can show you how this insert packs up inside the Super B. Like I said, this is a Lily Jade one, and it's got a big internal pocket here, and then lots of little compartments all around. I don't have every single compartment packed up, but um, I've got pretty much all of them used here. So this just tucks nice and neatly inside of my Super B. I have a medium set piece, and in here I keep a change of clothes for my son. In one of the side pockets, I have the Lily Jade changing pad. In one of the external pockets of the insert, I have a small Be Organized, and in here I just have medical needs. In another external pocket, I have a small set piece with the small strap attached, and I use this as a little wallet for myself. And I love having a small set piece packed this way because I can always pull this out and use it as a wallet if I'm on the way home and I need to just run really fast into Walgreens and get something before I go home. Um, I can just snatch this out of the Super B and not drag the entire Super B inside. So I love this. On another um, outside pocket of the insert, I have my wet bag. We cloth diaper, so I always make sure I have a wet bag with me. This one is a PlanetWise wet bag in the Jewel Woods print, and I absolutely love it. This thing has been through the wash. It goes through the wash at least twice a week, I guess, and the colors are still so bright and vibrant. I just, I just love it. All right, and the last thing that I have in this insert is a Be Quick in the Hello Sanrio print, and this is packed up with all of my son's diapering needs. All right, so I have this bag packed pretty similarly in terms of the things that are in it to the way that I did it last time. But I wanna show you kind of a different way for creating structure in your Super B, even if you don't have an insert like what I just showed you. Even though I love using my insert, I do feel that it limits the amount of space that I have in the Super B. So it's nice to know how to organize a Super B with structure so that you're still organized and really capitalize on all that space that the Super B offers. So you can see right off the bat, um, it does look like I've crammed a little bit more in here, and I definitely have. Sitting on top, I'm able to keep my ring sling, which I was not able to fit in the Super B when I had the insert in there. Then if you look down inside the bag, what I've basically done is put one fuel cell sideways in the Super B, and then I have packed three different quicks um, horizontally in the bag. So that makes the bag nice and solid on the bottom. It sits very evenly, it doesn't want to tip over or anything, and it's still slouchy when I pick it up so I can hobo it if I want to. Now, done this way, I wasn't able to put the uh, 
water bottle in one mesh pocket and the blanket in the other mesh pocket. So I actually have both the swell bottle and the blanket in the same mesh pocket on the side where the quicks are. Just like last time, I have a fuel cell packed with eating needs. I have that same diapering quick that I showed you before, except this time I have the wet bag packed inside of this quick. Um, whereas last time I had it in one of the sections of the insert. I have another quick and in here I have a medium set piece that has his change of clothes in it that I showed you earlier as well as um, a little hat for him since it's cold outside right now. And then lastly I have a little mommy clutch and in here I have lots of things of just snacks for me. I tend to like to eat healthy, but I will not hesitate to annihilate a dollar menu at McDonald's if I don't have something healthy with me. So I was able to pack a little grab bag of nuts and yogurt covered raisins and dried cranberries and a cliff bar and a banana down in here. So I just have a nice little grab bag to make sure that I'm eating healthy while I'm out and about. All right, this Super B is packed as kind of a car bag of sorts. Say you have a big day and you're going to be going to lots of different places and you're gonna need lots of different things while you're out, but you won't need a whole bag full of all of this stuff in any of the places that you're going. So what I like to do on days like that is throw a Super B in my car packed with different pouches for different needs that I'm going to have throughout the day and I can leave the Super B in the car and I can grab out the things that I need depending on where I am and what I'm doing. All right, so most of the stuff that is in here is pretty standard diaper bag stuff. You're not gonna be shocked by anything that's in here. What I'm really trying to show you is an organizational style for the way to put your stuff together to pack smarter and make your day go a little bit easier. So what I've done in here is I've anticipated different scenarios that might come up during the day and packed things together based on those scenarios. So the first scenario is uh, going to have my oil changed. I know that I probably won't be there long enough to need a diaper change or to have to feed my baby while I'm there, but it'll be just long enough to probably let him get fussy and bored. So in that case, I'd like to be able to just grab something right out of my Super B that's already packed with entertainment needs for my son. So in here, what I have is a passy pod. I have a sensory cube that he loves playing with, a Sophie the giraffe, and a teething necklace down in there. So these are all things that I can give to my baby while we're waiting on an oil change or any kind of mundane experience like that that might cause boredom for my baby. The next thing I have in here is a diapering quick. And of course, this just has all of my diapering needs in it, just in case I need to stop and change a diaper in the back seat while I'm out and about. This way I can grab this quick out of my Super B at any time and I have everything that I need to change a diaper. All right, so there's only two things left in this Super B. The second to last thing that I have in here is a fuel cell. Um, that again, I showed this earlier. This is packed exactly the same as the other fuel cell, but it's just got food needs. So this is for um, if we're stopping in a restaurant or wherever we may be, if I need to feed him, I can always just grab the fuel cell right out of the Super B and take his food needs in with me and not worry about the rest of this stuff. Now the last thing in this bag is a bee light. And what I have this for is essentially as a mommy bag and as, I guess, an overflow bag to put any of this other stuff that was in my Super B that I might need to take with me into anywhere I'm going. So I like doing this because I don't want to carry around the entire Super B all day, but sometimes I need to carry more than just one item out of the Super B. Maybe I need um, the quick for diapering needs and I need his little entertainment pouch. And I don't wanna carry both of those in individually, so when I have a bee light in the Super Bee, I can just pack those things inside the bee light and I have everything that I need. Now, what I've put in here are just things that I tend to find myself needing while I'm out and about. I have my water bottle. There are bottle pockets on the front of the bee light, but I don't really care for the way that a bottle looks inside that bottle pocket. See how it bulges out a little bit and it doesn't quite, it just doesn't quite carry the way I want it to. So I always put my bottle inside the bag. And here I also have my planner, just in case I have time to work on any of my meetings and plans and things like that. And lastly, I have a pouch full of snacks. And then with this Be Light, in addition to the things that I already had in here, if I know I'm gonna need my diapers while I'm out, I can toss that into the Bee Light as well and just have kind of a smaller version of the Super Bee that I packed in the morning. This Super Bee is packed as an overnight bag for if my baby is going to stay with his grandparents for a night. Here is what the inside looks like. So right on top, I have my son's favorite comfort toy. I have his water scooper that we bathe him with and tucked away in there I have his shampoo, his lotion, and a little brush for him. So that way my parents can just pull this right out of the bag and they have everything they need to bathe him if they need to. 
Tucked in the mesh pocket, I have his blanket. I also have in here a fuel cell packed with everything related to feeding my baby. So we're still breastfeeding, but if this was just a short overnight trip with my parents, um, I would probably only need to send along two bottles filled to the brim with milk. I might send some frozen milk along too. Um, and then all of his solid food pouches that we're doing right now. And then over here in the side, I have several spoons for them, just in case they don't happen to have infant sized spoons there in their house. I have a Be Quick, and packed in here are all of my son's day clothes. In the bottom, I have a Be Organized, and I have a sheet of paper sitting on top that it's hard to see in this light, but it says pajamas. And this has got several pairs of pajamas for my son because at night tends to be the time that he has blowouts, and I have his zippity zip in here as well. So I like labeling this so that that way my parents, when it's bedtime, if my son is really ready to go to bed, they are not scrambling around inside the Super B trying to find his bedtime stuff. It's right here, clearly labeled. Tucked away in the side of the bag, I have a full pack of wipes. And then I have about a half a sleeve of diapers for them. Now, I know that my son would not go through this many diapers. We cloth diaper, but when he goes over to my parents' house, he disposable diapers, and um, I would rather send too many than too few. And the last thing that I have in here, tucked in the mesh pocket, is a medicine kit. And I already showed this to you, so you know what all is in here. But the only thing that I've added is a Be Charged that has my son's insurance card and my husband's insurance card since he's the primary insurance holder. So God forbid anything were to happen to my son, my parents would be able to grab this out of here and they already have his insurance card and all the information that, that the hospital would need, hopefully, from my husband's policy as well. My purpose really in the way I've packed this is to make everything as easily accessible and stress-free as possible for the grandparents so that they're not worrying and stressing out about where to find things in the bag. It's all organized for them and they can just spend their time enjoying their grandson. The last way that I have this Super B packed is as a carry-on diaper bag on an airplane. Now, I recently got back from my very first trip alone with my baby, and I packed my BFF, and I was really happy that I brought it, but I made a few mistakes, and I think the biggest mistake that I made was I decided to put everything in pouches so that it would be super organized, I'd be able to find anything that I needed on the plane at a moment's notice, and that plan didn't really pan out for me very well. The fact is, when you are in the middle seat, um, in between two very large burly guys and you don't have much room because they're spilling over into your seat and your baby is fussing, you do not have time to be pulling out pouches, unzipping them, pulling things out, figuring out what you're going to do now with the empty pouch. It just ended up being a nightmare. So this is my plan for how I'm going to pack my diaper bag when I take my son out to an airport alone next time. And I think the key is going to be not having things in pouches, but having them carefully organized out in the open and easily accessible so that I can grab them right away if my son needs them on the plane. So um, around the outside of the bag, I have it pretty simple. I just have my medical kit here. On the other bottle pocket, I have a small set piece. And in here, I have um, a be charged with all of my debit cards and cash and driver's license and this is where I would also keep my boarding pass. I also have my phone stored away in there as well. In the little hidden zipper pocket on the front, I have a power bank with a very long cord. I think when you're traveling alone with a baby, one of your biggest fears has to be having your cell phone die and not being able to get in touch with the people who are picking you up at the airport. So I was really happy to have this with me and I could just automatically charge my phone anytime I needed to to make sure I always had that full charge. On the inside, as you can see, I have it packed pretty differently than the way I've packed other bags. Rather than having things in pouches, I have everything sort of easily accessible that I can reach in and grab the minute that I need it. In this mesh pocket here on the side, I have everything that I need for diapering. I have a full pack of wipes. I have just enough diapers to get me through the flight. And I have my ointment and baby powder. The only thing that is missing from this little space is a changing pad, but I'm actually keeping that in this back side of the Super B over here. Now, if you're traveling with an infant for the first time, one of the problems that you have to deal with is the pressurization of the cabin in the airplane. This causes tremendous pain for the baby's ears, and they'll often fuss when that happens. So I found that it was really useful to have some sort of liquid for my baby to have during takeoff and landing. 
Now, I'm breastfeeding, but I just didn't want to have to worry about breastfeeding on the airplane, and I had a feeling I would have latch issues anyway. So here, I actually have two bottles. Um, you can put anything in there. You can put breast milk or formula or just water or juice, whatever you like. But I have two separate bottles so that I don't have to worry about refilling. It was actually really complicated on my way home when it occurred to me to ask for more water for the landing. Trying to unscrew a bottle, keep a hold of the nipple and the cap while I'm trying to pour this tiny bottle of water into Roman's bottle. It was just a mess. So next time I travel, I'm gonna have two bottles all ready for takeoff and for landing. Over here, I have a fuel cell, and here's what I'll be doing next time I fly. I'm going to get on the plane and immediately pop this baby open, and just leave it sitting inside the bag just like this. And I've got this packed with entertainment needs for my son. So with this bag sitting at my feet and this fuel cell popped open, I can reach in and grab anything that I need for him, put it back in really quickly and easily, and I'm not fumbling around for it because that was an issue for me on my last flight. The only thing that I have in a pouch in this bag is just one medium set piece with a change of clothes. Now, I think you're going to thank me for this tip. I wish I had known this when I traveled last time. I strongly recommend rolling up a Be Light and keeping it inside your carry-on diaper bag. And here's why. At the end of my last flight, I ended up with just tons of things for my son that I had pulled out of my bag and had sitting in my lap that I was keeping my son entertained with. And by the time we landed, I just had all this stuff in my lap and I did not really know how to get it back into my BFF quickly and efficiently without having a huge mess inside my diaper bag, which would cause issues for me once I got off the plane. I wish that I had had a bee light with me so that I could have just taken any of the little things that were sitting in my lap while we were on the flight, tossed them in here, and now that I'm getting off of the plane, it doesn't matter that I have two bags anymore. So I can walk off the plane with my super bee and my bee light full of random things, and when I get a minute, I can reorganize myself and get all these things back in the super bee. But it's not something that I have to be doing while we're trying to get off the plane. Alright, I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel by hitting this button right here. And if you're in the market for a Super Bee or any other item from Jujubee right now, visit my website by clicking this link here. Have a Merry Christmas, you guys, and I'll see you next time.